We we can keep going. Should we yeah. stop? I we, mean, yeah. what? You want to keep going? Go. If you want to stop, please. Stop. Yeah, I feel some people might want to have books signed. What do you want yeah, to yeah. He's getting a pair of books signed. So, uh, you guys have any questions you want to pose to us? I'm sure I've just pissed off like so many people here. I want to talk about really quick. So, um, you mentioned people going back. Mm. The, the, reason, down, the nostalgia, down, the down. nostalgia yeah. of modern comics. You, they don't want to see my face, really. It's not that. Again, I'm the redheaded troll, and, like, and, like, and we like have young Jamie Heineman from Mythbusters. <laughs> yeah, what? Um, I'm wrong with younger. that. And kind of an Adam Savage too. He's sort of a yeah, what so if they made sort it? Sort of the love child. I should, I should be balder for that. Kevin is the bastard. Want to draw a comic Jamie about that, Southworth? I just, another one. You know, <laughs> Those are vanity projects, and they're very expensive. <laughs> That's right. You can't afford it. No, I'm going to ask something. No, no, I wanted, I wanted to ask you because because you, you you I wanted you to maybe expand a little bit more on the nostalgia factor of where comics are right now and and if that can't sustain itself so when you say um dc uh just killed off another one of their minority characters Who? in favor of a legacy character uh they killed off uh, the atom uh, oh they and, killed and, off and ryan and, yeah. and, and if ryan joins in, in, in yeah. and so i mean not not to talk shit about Specific Talk people. shit about whoever you want. But, but I mean, but, I don't you care. Know, I don't work for them anymore. You know, and there, and and and, and it, I realized something. Is I, no, how I, 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 I realized something. I, I went out of my way when I separated from DC to not cast any aspersions on anybody there. Sure. And I was informed by somebody who was working from DC that they're really pissed off at me. So it's like, you know what? I, I, I can, you can can't we, win. Can we ask what happened? I have no idea. Really? Yeah, I have no idea. I really don't. I have no idea. So, if they're pissed at me, they're pissed at me, and they're going to be pissed at me. I'm not looking to bury hatchets. Um, you know, I, I, that's it's unprofessional. Even if I did want to, I wouldn't do it. Well, sure, so. sure, and that's and I, you know, I wasn't, wasn't sure about that. So, um, also, you mentioned you were talking about how you like violence to be something that has consequence. Is that why you prefer to write uh, Batwoman? Or Dex, or characters like that, yeah. and and not Fantastic Four, yeah. or or say you know, uh, the thing that I thought of is that that's the reason why Marvel Comics everyone has a a healing factor because they don't want they don't want violence to be permanent. Well, and I so, mean, so what is, you know, look, I, I guess look, it's a I, I absolutely understand the desire to you know see spectacle. Sure. You know, there is a joy in watching the Hulk destroy a whole city. Mm -hmm. Sure. There is a joy in watching Superman you know battling Metallo you know for. A 150 mile trowel of you know carnage through the Midwest or whatnot. I get that. Yeah. Um, for my own purposes, dramatically, if you do that, you you have taken away a very important tool. Sure. If you make the violence solely spectacle, then violence is not. It has no emotional impact. And furthermore, it's not threatening. No. Mm -hmm. um, and violence is one of the writer's best tools. I mean, it, it is. I, I mean, we asked Mark, who's been sitting here listening out of frame. <laughs> I'm not even in the frame. <laughs> but, that doesn't matter. But, but, you can talk. but I mean, wouldn't you agree, I as agree another that. writer here, sw swing so we can see Mark, because he's Hold been on. so patient. I'll, I'll just add this, and then I'll get back out of the frame. No, no, no. no, no. I had my character injured at the end of the first issue of my comic book, mm -hmm. and which which kept is, him injured for is. the next five issues. Rotten. 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 Uh, yeah, from yeah, yeah, from yeah. Moonstone Books. Which is insane, because I agree with exactly with what you're saying. There has to be consequences. Consequences yeah. for violence if it's not a Hulk versus, versus Thor battle. And and mm -hmm. this is the thing. I mean, we're writing fictions, all right, and we want to write action fictions. And, and we're writing fictions. Look, the, the goal here is to see people we aren't doing things we never will, saying things we never would have the presence of mind to say. Uh, and 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 you know, it's either you either go James Bond and you're suave and cool and smooth. Or you go, you know, say Rockford, which is you're capable and you're gonna you're a survivor. But you want that, and in that the violence should serve. But you shouldn't have violence then become. Look, it, 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 ultimately you get to the point where we are in comics, which is oh, this character died, big deal. No consequences. People yeah, well, are desensitized. Everybody, and everybody expects everybody expects them to come back. You know, so you say Ryan Choi died. In favor of bringing back the Adam, well, of course they're going to bring back 
the legacy character, you know, clear marquee, longer history, they'll argue that, well, Ryan didn't take or whatnot, and maybe that's true. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't actually believe that Ryan Choi will never come back. Oh, no, yeah. for sure, for sure. So but what does the death mean? All it is is a statement right now. All it is is a marketing statement. Well, yeah, I mean, but but I, you know, it's also a, in the line of... I think. In the line of, of minority characters getting getting short shrifted in favor of legacy characters. I, and I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. and that's not, that's see, not a not, racist statement. No, no, but, no, but, but, but see, I'm, they, not sure, I'm not sure I would go there. Uh, because that that way is a very treacherous slope. Okay, I agree. All right, because what you what you are in danger of saying is, for instance, um, the new Adam is Asian. Mm -hmm. The new Adam did not click. Therefore, because he is Asian, and we don't have a lot of Asians in in the DC universe, we are obligated to stick with a character that isn't working. Now, I'm not saying, and I'm not saying. For those of you who are about to scream at me that Ryan Choi didn't work, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that on an editorial level, there was a decision made. Sure. And if you make your editorial decision solely on um, promoting diversity, then you are tokenizing that diversity by the, yeah. exact, Fair same, Fair by the exact same token. You know, so I, I think that... Look, I, 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 I feel, obviously, I mean, you look at my work, and I, I'm very passionate about promoting a diversity in comics. Or reflecting reality. Yes, well, but that's why. I want to promote the diversity because I want it to reflect reality. I want the DC Universe, if I'm in the DC Universe, to look at least vaguely like the way Manhattan looks when you're walking down the street. Sure. I'd like to see more people of color doing things that aren't solely, you know, give me your money. Sure. Um, but introducing a minority character, a minority character, and even that's now a misnomer. It's so loaded. Introducing this diversity for the sake of the diversity is flawed. Yeah, who wants to read the Asian Adam? Exactly. You know, and, you want to read the Adam. You want to read the Adam. And if the Adam is happens Asian. to be Asian, Great. Ryan Choi, I mean, if, if Batwoman happens to be Jewish and queer, okay, she's Jewish and queer, but she's first and foremost Batwoman. And right. that's that needs to be that that needs to be the agenda. Well, sure, and 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 but and therefore, but you can also see someone's frustration when absolutely when the the universe is getting less diverse now. Ab absolutely, um, and I, I, I think that's what the frustration with some of the fans yeah, is. Yeah, I, I don't I, I don't disagree with that, and I'm not in a position to argue whether or not they gave. Sure. Ryan, a, a fair shot or not? I, I don't, you know, I, and I don't want to make assumptions there uh, with no, what you know. I, and if, and if, I, I else, don't, know. obviously. I mean, but um, I, this is something else. I know nothing right now. I mean, don't presume that I know anything about unceremoniously anything in mainstream anywhere <laughs> right now. I, yeah. I know. I know my wife is writing a Black Cat mini for Marvel. That's really good. That's all I know. Awesome. Well, I think we should probably wrap it up, um, yeah. even though I could sit here and talk and forever my knees are hurting. Well, so, you, you know what we need to do? Next time we just get, like, pizza and beer and <laughs> sit around and just... Drunken interviews are the best. Yes. I, and just, I'll shut up more, actually, because I just go was, on, and on and on and on. It was great. So, um, so guys, buy thanks. Stumptown and Mark, buy Rotten. Buy yes. Rotten, buy Stumptown. Don't buy um, the new Adam stuff. It's terrible. <laughs> no and, diversity. Uh, and pick up this black cat mini that, that, that uh, Jennifer coming out? Van Meter is, uh, is writing. I don't know when the first issue is. I think in the next month or two. Um, but I don't know when it comes out. But it's really good. And the covers are gorgeous and the interior art's great. And it's just really good. Awesome. Well, just Greg, good. Matt, Mark, thanks a lot. Thank um, thanks, thanks for coming out, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Turn that off. Hey, Mr. Record Man, the joke's on you. Running your label like it was 1992. Hey, Mr. Record Man, you're so